vlogmas day two i'm so excited make sure you have post notifications on because i'm posting a vlog every day until christmas today i want to show you guys my at home leg workout i've been meaning to do this for a while and i've kind of shown you guys here and there but i've never done it like more in depth i might have to go to the grocery store a little later too happy monday let's get this day started so i have these resistance bands and then i also have some weights that i got on offer up so you can do any of this without any of that but that's just kind of what i have i always start out with a warm-up a little cardio warm-up and yeah there's so many things that you can do honestly in your home in your room with just a yoga mat or honestly even with nothing and i feel like this year i've really learned to be creative I definitely feel like I am a little skinnier now than I was probably at this time last year or just last year in general. If you guys are familiar, you know, I was all about the booty gains before and I was really into lifting heavy at the gym, you know, when we could go. So this year has definitely been a bit of a transition back or not even back, but just kind of into more body weight stuff and higher reps and stuff like that, more cardio. So I'm just kind of embracing it for what it is. Um, yeah, I definitely feel like my appetite can definitely, or is definitely decreased from last year when I was lifting heavy, but that's just kind of natural. So I'm, I've just kind of learned to be flexible and like do what I can with what I have and still maintain a sense of fitness, even though it's not this like, oh, you know, leg gains, booty gains, like we're gonna lift heavy, that's it, all day, every day. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, starting out with some good mornings with the band. And then we are going to go into some Bulgarian split squats. I like to kind of start out with these, I guess kind of start out as the first lift with the weights because I hate them. <laughs> um, and don't do what I did here. I feel like I'm kind of putting my chest like down too much. I should be keeping my spine a little more straight and not like leaning forward as much. But you know I'm working on it. <laughs> I feel like, uh, I just hate these, which is good. Like I hate them in a good way. Um, but yeah, so I'll do, for all of these, I will usually do three sets. And then for something like this, I will try to do three sets on each side. It sucks, but I'm kind of like, okay, I can't go to the gym. Like what else am I gonna do? I knew that I had to do this and work on my form. So for the last set, I just used one weight and these are 35 pounds. And as you can see, I'm doing it just <laughs> like, it's better, you know, I'm keeping my back a little more straight. So, you know, I'm self-aware. I know where I need to improve, but yeah, this is the first one that I start out with. This is me trying to take an Instagram story. It did not work out, but at least I tried. Then I'm just going into some deadlifts. This was one of my favorite lifts, you know, back in the day when we could go to the gym. So I don't know. I just kind of, part of me is like excited to see how hard it's going to be when I can go back to the gym. But I'm also kind of like scared for that because I just feel like, you know, I could lift so much and now, but you know, I'm looking at the bright sides. I'm looking at the bright sides. So I did deadlifts and then I'm just doing some close stance. Um, what are these called? I forget. These squats, goblet squats. Yeah, and these are kind of more quad focused. So I did those. Um, and those can definitely suck after the split squats, like definitely. <laughs> and then I just did some step ups. Make sure you have a really sturdy chair or whatever um, against a wall. And I really just try to like follow through with these. And these are good as almost like, almost kind of a burnout for my quads. Yeah, really like those. Then, you know, I'm all about the booty gains. So I do what I can. And I literally stack the two dumbbells on top of each other and do some froggies some like kind of froggy thrusts and then they eventually just kind of turn into hip thrusts because it can be kind of hard to balance sometimes <laughs> so i'll just literally do that until 
my ass feels like it's about to fall off. And, you know, maintenance, that's what it's all about. Hip thrusts are probably the number one thing <laughs> that I miss besides deadlifts. Um, but we make it work. Then as the last thing, I do these, I don't even know, like banded thrusts with the wall. So I'll do 30 seconds going up and then 30 seconds going out like this. And I'll do that three times without stopping. So 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> and it's so, like it gets to be so hard. It burns so good. And yeah, I just kind of try to incorporate a lot of burnouts like this, just so I know that the muscle is really exhausted. So then I love doing an ab workout um, at the end. This is one of MadFit's 10 minute ab workouts. I just sped it up a lot, as you can see. Um, but one of the things I'm grateful for this year, you know, with my workout routine and not being able to go to the gym and whatnot, is I feel like I am a lot more detail oriented. You know, I actually do abs. I never really used to do that before. So there's definitely been pros. Um, and I just honestly feel my core getting stronger, which is cool because it's not even just like the aesthetics of it. But yeah, then I did some stretches, um, not just this, like I didn't film all of it, but <laughs> yeah, so that was a pretty good workout, honestly. I was proud and let me know if you do something like this or what your little routine is if you have one. So I hope you guys enjoyed that workout. Let me know if you want something else like that. I probably do that little routine like two, maybe three times a week. So I'm about to go to, I think Target. I'm out of oat milk and pretty much every fruit that I own. Do I want to go to Target? I don't know. I just, they never have the oat milk that I want at Whole Foods, even though I would probably prefer to go to Whole Foods. But this is what I'm going to wear. But like, it's like casual. I feel kind of cute. You know, I had to reglue my nails, but we're back. Let me go do this small grocery haul. I just had some protein, like literally just protein and cold water because that's all I had. Yeah, then I want to come home, reply to some comments from yesterday's vlog, and get some work done on my computer. Oh my god, bitch, I'm also going to bring my new bag that I have not even used yet, but I'm just kind of going for that neutral vibe. And my huge sunglasses. Let me actually, let me show you the whole vibe. This is the fucking vibes. Thank you. was such a success let me show y'all what i got been craving her and last time i went they did not have so got one also i broke two nails at the store i swear my whole foods does not have a good oat milk selection at all low fat usually i like extra creamy the most calorie one i want to do a little tipsy q a for one of my vlogmases but i want to do it like brunch style basically i wanted champagne i had a very specific idea of what i wanted i didn't want a full bottle because i don't want to drink that by myself and then just like be alone by myself like it doesn't sound fun to me and this was on sale and it was just like perfect and you know since it's gonna be a mimosa i thought an orange slice would do the trick pretty much the only interesting stuff i got i got apples zucchini spinach strawberries frozen mango avocado kiwis lemon brussels sprouts and this is on sale y'all remember last time i went they didn't have mozzarella now they did got it yeah i'm so excited to film this so look out on my ig when i ask you guys questions but i just think that's gonna be such a cute video like i want to make it cute you know okay so let me put this away so just having some sauteed kale i feel like i could have <laughs> cooked it for a little longer but i just honestly i'm so hungry i don't mind chewing it a little extra and some leftover rice and beans with that queso sauce and yeah probably gonna add some hot sauce and then do some laptop work probably make an iced coffee also honestly i'm kind of craving took a little bit of a nap which was so nice because if you have watched my vlogs sometimes i'd be trying to take naps and it just doesn't work i'm using my phone because my footage is importing right now and it's taking forever i don't know i don't know i'm making some well leftover rice and zucchini and some chicken probably gonna start watching something i would love to like start this edit but it's just taking so long to import so yeah. yum and now we watch Jersey Shore. So I'm just having some strawberries. 
and some of that frozen mango. Um, if the frozen mango is like, I don't know if it's just the ripe ones, but it's like the darker ones that actually have like flavor. I'd be eating those and then the like lighter ones, I don't know if they're just unripe or it just wasn't a good mango. I saved those ones for a smoothie. Um, but yeah, can you guys believe this footage is still importing? It's taking so long. I don't know why. Usually it's like the quickest part of everything. Whatever. So it kind of gives me an excuse to just like chill right now. But yeah, I might start the new season of the Great British Baking Show. My parents got me hooked. It's so entertaining. Like it's just so like just wholesome content, like very just like entertaining, but like wholesome. So I love that. I might, might put that on right now. Yeah, I'll probably update you guys in a little bit, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. <laughs> And today's vlog here thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications because i'm vlogging every day until christmas can't wait to read all your comments and i'm honestly so excited to go to sleep right now thanks for watching bye everyone